Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to GK Plays. My name is GK, and I will be your host on the journey through Bioshock. Now, Bioshock is a game that took me by surprise a few years ago. Um, basically, uh, Bioshock came out on the PS2, I believe, or PS3 even. And basically, I played it, and I didn't really think much to it, uh, sadly. Uh, however, I um, got it uh, downloaded as a part of the PSN service and do you know what I thoroughly enjoyed it. it the story the mechanics the world were insanely cool and um, I want to share the experience with you so I haven't played it for a little while so I'm gonna play a new game I'm gonna adjust the brightness just ever so slightly the dark gray box is barely visible against the black background obviously my tally is different to yours so uh, do uh, adjust so, um, I think we're going to try hard mode. Uh, I've played through this game before. It was a while ago, but I'll try hard mode. So, Bioshock is set in the 1940s, I believe. Uh, we will find out a lot more about our character throughout the game. Oh, 1960. Sorry, I was 20 years old. And um, we're in the mid-Atlantic. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Okay, so it seems like we've been involved in some sort of plane crash. Um, our character's name is Jack, obviously, from the present. And he was just talking about his parents there, it seems. So uh, we'll find out a lot more about that. Now, the ins and outs of the story I've also forgotten because it's been a little while since I've played. So we're in the sea, that's for sure. <laughs> we're in the soup. <laughs> Okay, this is obviously not great, but the first thing we're going to do... No, we're not going to load. We're going to put subtitles on. There we go. Okay, let's continue. So... Obviously, we've got this wreckage, which isn't good. Uh, we're controlling Jack now, it seems. So, let's boogie. <laughs> Some sort of light out here, which is uh, pretty creepy, but let's keep going. Swim away from the wreckage, not towards. <laughs> like I say, yeah, guys, the Bioshock took me by surprise. Um, like I say, I wish I'd played it properly back in the day. It takes a little while to get going, but I think you'll really enjoy it because it's a great story driven game and um, it's a great shooter too. And there's a lot of twists and turns in the story that make it really interesting. Okay, just make sure there's nothing going on this side. now. that's fine. Okay. Whoa! That locked me in. No gods or kings, only man. Wow, that's a big bust. In what country is there a place for people like me, Andrew Ryan? Okay. I'll pop the subtitles on for the art as well, because I think it might be easier for you to read as I'm reading, so. Guess we can go this way. Some sweet jazz music playing. Bathysphere leader. Alright, off we go on our merry adventure. Underwater, it would seem. Ten fathoms. Eighteen fathoms. 
We're getting deep. Real deep. What's going on there? Ha. Huh. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate plasmids by Ryan Industries. Okay. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Wow. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. This is genuinely one of the most impressive opening shots to a game. I mean, look, it's a freaking underwater city. The whales swimming everywhere. It's brilliant. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to playing. Welcome to Rapture. So we've got our controls there. Now, Rapture is going to be interesting to walk around again. Because like I said, it's been a little while for me. And uh, I'm guessing for some of you, you've never even seen Rapture. So I'm hoping you'll join along. And if you're enjoying uh, Bioshock... Please do uh, support this uh, this video if you can. I'm not here, lady. I, I don't exist. Female splicer. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Please. Ah. Yeah, you ain't getting in, lady. Okay, Shortwave radio. Short radio. Yeah, let's go. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Take a deep breath and step out of the bathosphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. Okay. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Wow. I just can't believe we're underwater. So, this is Atlas. He's gonna be, uh... Oh, I'm happy Please don't. Please don't. That's rude. Jesus. Just a bit border. What the hell? Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer, sealed Johnny M before they... Goddamn splicers. Ooh. 
Okay, we've got a wrench. That's awesome. Are you friendly, sir? No, I'm guessing not. It's okay. Ooh, we can search him. Eve high powder first aid kit. Wherever they are. Gather's garden, okay. Yeah, just just pick something up and inject yourself with it. You know, that's completely fine. Ah! Uh, uh, oh. Steady now. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. Why would you just pick something up and inject yourself with it? Just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on Adam. I don't know what Adam is, but go away. Yeah, that. Let's park quick. You're a weak chopper. This little fish ain't worth telling it with no big daddy. Yellow always had been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. See you floating from right here. Metal Daddy. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh. Look, what? Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. That's not creepy at all. Okay. You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Okay, so plasmids are obviously uh, power-ups. Uh, they have to... No, we have to aim properly. That's what we have to do. Oh, yeah, that's the plane. Or what's left of it. Can we go? There, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Uh, I don't think Raptor's going to be... Uh... Oh, we're not going that way either. I don't think. First aid kit, Arcadia Merlot, let's get pissed. Yeah, that's not. Because <laughs> there is actually a drunk mechanic in this game. Give them a combo. Zap them, then whack them. One, two, punch. Remember, the one, two, punch. There you go. Right, the Eve Hypo, basically, it doesn't explain it very well. Eve hypo is basically a um Leave me alone. So you have to choose between your weapon and your plasmids. Your plasmids are your powers, weapons are obviously weapons. So that's cool. Um your Eve hypo basically um, gains your plasmid so you can do that to pretty much anyone. Uh, you can literally just go um, plasmid and then, well, lightning and then whack, and it should deal quite a bit of damage. So I yeah, hope this is the right way. This elevator doesn't look safe. 
I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Yeah, I think we'll do that for Atlas. He seemed like a swell guy. We got, um... We got, uh, through all that because of him, so let's, uh, let's do that. Before we do anything, first take it. Now, one thing you will find in this game is there are absolutely tons of secrets. Plasmids changed everything. Ooh. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Okay, so plasmids are obviously something that was developed in Rapture. Plenty of those. Okay. So um, every now and again, you're going to see these sort of. Oh, well, I really get to the toilet. Um, you're going to see um, little hallucinations like that. I didn't touch her. <laughs> I wasn't asking you, I was explaining the game mechanics. Thank you very much, mister. Um. <laughs> Yo, open up. Do you think? Who uses water that colour? Wrong. Oh. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Is that the little girl we saw earlier? Have we got to go this way? I'm going to walk across the... You think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. Okay, so Adam is some sort of nutrient. Very safe behind a wireframe. Ow. That's the big daddy. She got an Adam. He keeps her safe. Right, I see. So yeah, little sisters are basically the ones that collect Adam from the dead. Uh, by the looks of things, and the uh, big daddy are the ones to keep them safe. Uh, I don't want to save just yet. Let's go in here, see what uh, these guys were holding on to, if anything. Oh, it's a revolver. So, now, the reason I'm not using my revolver yet is because ammo is. Oh, okay. Um, is because. Ammo is quite scarce near the start of the game, and I don't want to burn it all here because obviously there are like things like boss fights and stuff coming up. So don't you disrespect me! I didn't disrespect you. I turned the corner, woman. Leadhead splicer. Okay. One pistol. That's what I mean. You're gonna get like one. Come on! You're gonna get like one bullet here, three bullets there. It's nothing like, you know, you're not gonna get loads of ammo. Then 
Dead thing, Daddy. Is that the one we saw earlier? <laughs> yeah, we need a lot of moolah. At the moment, we're just sort of looking around, following Atlas's instructions, because obviously he's the one getting us through this little mess. Security oh. alert in pop. We want What the hell? We have doors with flamethrowers? What's going on with people? Okay. Let's search some bodies. Moolah, first aid kits, and that. We're doing okay, actually, for health. Uh, we're actually... I'm going to search some bodies first, if that's all right with you, sir. See? Money. All right. Switch back to the crowbar for now. The wrench, even. Sorry. Right. This is medical. Please do. Panicking slightly. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf with the CIA, DIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Anne Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who could be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. So does Ryan think we're some sort of like Russian spy? If it asks for Danya, I'm pretty sure it's goodbye in Russian. <laughs> or farewell or something that's uh, uh Atlas, can you like you know hurry up? With pleasure. Wow, okay, so in the first uh, area we learned about Andrew Ryan a little bit and Atlas is trying to help us um, get through Rapture. We're going to help him save his family, I think. So that was the opening area. Now the next area we're going to is the medical pavilion, which I can only guess is going to be even more brutal and even more um, just full on. <laughs> Dr. Steinman's cosmetic enhancement. <laughs> yes, I can imagine this is going to be hell. Um, but we're going to explore that hell in the next episode, guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed Bioshock so far. I know this is only the start, so um, please do support this video. I'm going to pause it because I think something's, uh, <laughs> something's going to be coming for me. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please do support this video if you want to see more. I will upload more. Um, very very frequently actually because uh, I am going to be off work for a little while so um, if you want to see more please do support this video until the next time guys thank you for supporting GK Plays and I'll see you in the next one bye bye for now